Well, howdy. Welcome to episode four, the pie episode. The pie cast. The pie cast. The pie cast. Ah. That's going to be the title. I'm pretty sure Chad said something similar to that in the the, the text, the group text about the, oh, the yeah, next yeah, pie yeah. cast. He probably did. So I've got to give kudos to Chad. Go Chad. Go Chad. <laughs> hey Chad. Yeah, if y'all didn't catch the, was it last episode, episode three, um... We we had a stupid idea of we should eat an entire cake. We also were going to put everything entire bagel pie. seasoning on it. Yeah, we did not bring the everything bagel. I forgot. Sorry, I went. It's okay. You got the you got the cake. I got the most pie. important thing. <laughs> yeah. Um. So. Yeah, we went to we had the story about going to House of Pies, and this is my favorite thing there. And then I sent Mike to go get a Boston cream pie, and they're like, "Oh, we don't have one." And so it's technically, I guess, a cake there. So we're eating Boston cream cake? I mean, I still call it a Boston cream pie. Is Boston cream pie... It is a cake. A cake? Technically, and there's yeah. no, like, crust on it. Mm. Yeah, there's no crust, and there's, like, cake. <laughs> is that the determining factor for... That would be a worth you know, an we, internet we search. We should have asked the House of Pies. I feel like they had the They probably would have known. <laughs> yeah, I don't know if we, we, can, we can call them real quick. The look I gave we the girl when she's like, friend. well, you don't have a Boston cream pie. And then I was talking to you and she's like, we have a Boston cream cake. And I was like, something Boston cream. You have cool. it. Cool. Thanks. Yeah. Thanks a lot. Have you never heard of Boston got, cream pie? Yeah. You got me on a technicality. Are you, are you like, new here? I remember like when we lived in Boston, we used to go to this place called Mike's Pastries. And it's kind oh. of a tourist spot, but it's still like super, super good. Amazing. Um, but that was after I was like... I found better cannoli plate. Well, not better. I don't know. I just found like some cannoli spots that I enjoyed more, but I'd always go back and get like the Boston cream pie there. Um, you yeah, the lobster tails. Yeah. Well, yeah. When I first moved to Boston, I actually the, wasn't actually lobster lobster shellfish yet. Lobster. Yeah. We used to eat lobsters like crazy. Cause well, it was super cheap. Isn't lobster tail. That's like, that's a pastry. That's There's one a pastry of the pastry. Yeah, that's tail, that's yeah. what I was referring to. Not lobster tail is a pastry. There's a certain type of yeah. pastry that's called what, lobster what's, tail. What's the pastry? Do tell. Do. I don't know. I'm not so. a big. I'm not, I'm not a big pastry person. I really am not a big sweets fan. Um, other than like my birthday, every year on my birthday, I've had the exact same cake since I was like five. Which is what is it? it oh wait, what's it called? Oh, it's, it's called a dirt cake. Yeah, it's very good. Yeah, it's, it's Oreos. So good. I've been around yeah, for a few birthdays. Yes. Yeah. Yeah, it's amazing. Like that's, been, I, that's the same every year. My mom, like, she's like, even when I was in college, she called me like, what do you want? And I was like, mom, you know the answer to dirt cake. Dude, Mama Listen. P whips it up. It's so good. Yeah. Sweet lady. Dude, she's I'm going to start asking lady. one for my birthday. Dude, she probably do it. <laughs> Just I keep slide that. I want to ask there. for the recipe at the same time. I, it's you know I think Uncle Ben once said, uh, "With great power comes great responsibility," mm. and I'm just not responsible enough. Rest That's in true. peace. All right, Uncle Ben. Yeah. I think he's alive in one of them. I haven't seen the Andrew Garfield Spider Man's. I thought that that's like. The whole origin story of Spider Man, though, is the uncle dies. I did not go to Spider Man. I went yeah, to Uncle Ben. Alert. Oh, man. You just <laughs> Spider Man for everybody. For some reason, somebody told me there's a, like in one of the multiverse kind of situations, there's a, uh, there's one where, uh, like his aunt dies and Ben doesn't. I don't know. Whoa. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. I really don't when know Spider Man to be talking about when it. When I imagine that it's Marissa Tomei. That makes me way more upset. <laughs> I know. I'm going to look up who that is after this. I'm pretty sure my kid ruined Spider-Man for you. The new one. <laughs> okay. So, uh, yeah, Led walks up and he goes, he goes, hey, can I tell you something about the new Spider-Man movie? <laughs> Wait, are you about to ruin some? <laughs> no, 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 I no, haven't no, seen no. it. No, we I'm won't not. say it. Oh, but like it's the just so new funny. One? Yeah. yeah. Okay, oh, go it's on. so good. It's very good. Yeah. So, he's like, hey, do you want to know something about the new Spider-Man movie, which I think, like, he's just going to give me some sweet detail. And he drops... The bomb. The he drops a bomb. bomb. man. Like, it was like, <laughs> whoa, bro. Like, but how do you tell... How old is... What? He's, he's uh, six. Six. How do you tell a six-year-old? <laughs> you just ruined a movie for me. You just ruined... I did. I had, a, I had a long talk with him. Did you really? You sat him down. I sat him down. I was like, hey, look, dude. Bros... 
Don't do bros that way. You gotta you gotta teach these kids bro history from day one. Yeah, that's he true. Did, he done did Grizz dirty. Has to be raised in the culture. Clear. Yeah, it was it, the cuteness of it. The like hilarity like of it. the innocence of not knowing yes, what he had done. Well, I the feel crime. like he even said like no spoiler alerts. And what he said to start it opened you up to be like, oh, okay, yeah. He says something that's a li- it's a light detail that I think a lot of people knew. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then he drops a bomb, and Grizz is just like, <laughs> I can't unhear that kid. And then he face shoved him, which I totally agree with. Wait, Wait shoving Grizz kids. did or like, your son face yeah. pushed Grizz? No, I, Grizz just I put him into the couch. Like, he grabbed him yeah. by his face, picked him, and was like, dude, sat him down. You can't do that. Yeah. No, I'm just I, kidding. No six-year-olds were harmed. I didn't do that. <laughs> but I am serious. The, uh, the, 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 the funniness of it really, really outweighed the, the crime. So that's great. Good. Way to go, Led. Good. I guess, yeah, we, we can like cut this bad boy because I don't know how long it. this pat this podcast is going to be. Real but quick, I- <laughs> is this what the pod this episode is about? Yeah. Us eating this pie? It's a pie episode. All right. It's the pie. I yes, love that. The pie special, bro. Podcast. That's what, yeah, you're talking about. What are we going to talk about this podcast? Don't, don't worry about it. <laughs> you're going to hear a lot of chewing and smacking. This podcast is an endurance test. What is it? Is it ASMR, like the where you listen to people like make oh, noises on like a great room. idea? So, so we're going to take gonna... a bite and chew into the mic. <laughs> yeah. We also um, we take this. We take. Oh, I say go for it. Have you? Right. I've never cut cake with. This is my first like serious knife that I ever got. Look at the stand for it. Impressive. Yeah. Let's get a shot of this. Dude. What I loved is it was mm. I oh, bought it, it was a, so good. It was a three piece knife set, and the third piece was that stand. <laughs> <laughs> Did we mention House of Pies, a Houston classic tradition? Yeah, we House of Pies. Give be, us give us free pies. Give us free pies. <laughs> I'm, I'm Dude, super this, excited. This Fantastic. Oh yeah. No, I mean we're using a, a very high end knife <laughs> to uh, cut a cake. I'm just looking at what a fourth of this. It's, it's substantial. A lot. Yeah. It is substantial. And this is one of those. Who like, pukes first? Well, that's. Right. So the surprise of this is afterwards we're going to go run a mile. Well, I'm, <laughs> yeah, I'm actually going to the gym at six. Um, and I, I know exactly how many burpees I'm doing in 15 minutes. And. Uh, hey, man. So if anybody's going to throw right. up from this, it's probably going to oh. be me in front of like 15 strangers who don't know that we just did this. Oh, you're going for an entire quarter. With our cakes combined. Oh, my gosh. (laughs) (laughs) What have we done? Just just for the sake of everybody seeing this. Yeah. That is substantial. Do do you want to just pass that and... uh, Yeah. We'll pass your... Rip and grip, baby. There we go. Dude, get in on here. Yeah, I had a I had a very very small slice of this on Valentine's Day and was like super pumped about it. It's gonna be real out of focus. <laughs> I don't know. We'll see. We'll see how it comes out. And it's gonna be awesome though. <laughs> <laughs> like we, I'm curious yeah. though, as of right now, this is like my favorite cake in Houston, um, and I might not <laughs> eat it ever again after this. How to attack this? <clears throat> hey man, how do you? The, how, do, how do you eat an elephant? One bite at a time. One bite at a time. All right, boys. Yep. Are we all like, yeah. we should take let's, the first bite together. Yeah, let's, let's, let's cheers on the first oh bite. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> hey, I'll let you pick your, you pick your piece. Guy, but just, just for me mentally, like, this is like a mental battle, you know? This is man versus food, Power Brothers edition. Don't you dare cut this. This is choosing. Oh, he's doing some oh, He's, he's oh doing slivies, man. I mean, it's just like Fear Factor. You do, you do, you do, you, man. You got to get through it. Hey, we got to, yeah. It's 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 getting done. This is a ridiculous amount of pie or yeah, cake, this whatever was, this is. This is not a great idea. All right, boys. Cheers. But it was an idea. Hold on. It's not our uh, best idea, but it's our most recent. Certainly the most recent. Cheers. With our powers combined, we are pie boys. Cheers. Hi, boys. <coughs> just trying to make it. Mm, just trying to make it. Pretty good, right? It's heavier than I expected. Okay. Oh, yeah. This is a heavy cake. Okay, thank God. Because honestly, it's been a minute since I've had Boston cream pie or cake. And I couldn't remember it if I was going to like it or not. <laughs> but I do. Yeah. Uh, yeah, it's quite delicious. Well done. Well done, House of Pies. Hey. House of Pies. Who does? Mmm. I kind of forgot we were doing this, so I was just doing like normal um, 
workout eating schedule or whatever. And so I had like a four egg omelet like right before this. <laughs> the American, we're, we're watching a... Uh, you got the Chelsea game on down here. The American Pulisic to score. Let's go, boys. Let's go, buddy. Let's go. Man. Pie and football, boys. This day is just full of victories, There's man. So many good things happening. Yeah. This oh, is. Uh, I wish we could. We don't have the broadcast rights, but this lady is just going nuts over this goal. <laughs> She's a sweet old lady too, man. And I've I haven't seen dance moves like that, and I don't know since like the Beyonce Super Bowl. Let's go, Pulisic, oh, Captain wow. America. How's the goal? What's your time? Man. Favorite desserts? <laughs> While we're eating dessert, my favorite from House of Pie is Bayou Goo. Or just straight up a pecan pie. I'm a I'm a Southern Texas kid to, at heart. Okay, what's Bayou Goo? It's got pecans and all the things in it. It's like a kitchen sink pie kind of thing. Okay. Is it like a pecan pie? A little bit. Like a pecan pie, yeah. It's got chocolate, though, too. But it's it? got chocolate and... Mm-hmm. It's like a French silk pie and a pecan pie. Got married. <laughs> had a baby. Talk, talk to us. Then their baby got together with like some fudge and some other stuff, and they had a baby. That pie would be by you good. This mm. is ridiculous. <laughs> yeah, Dude, we're doing pretty good. We're like halfway through a piece already. Yeah. I'm not. I'm I'm stressed out. I've had like three or four bites, and I don't think. I don't know, man. I'm not. I was I was kind of concerned about it, and we'll see how it goes as we continue. But I've just been eating, like, so healthy that this is just, like, the biggest cheat meal I've had in probably a year and a half. This is your cheat year. This cheat is my year cheat meal. meal for the year. Yeah. No, it's your cheat year. Wow. Whoa. Blake eats healthy, by the way, guys. Mm-mm. Like, really healthy. Not today. We're entering a bulking season. Mm. Apparently. It's all about accumulating mass, really. Yeah. Dude, I've got a lot of dormant mass. And the second I kick on, I'm going to be a little swollen tick hulk. Dude, you're so quick. Dude. Swollen tick. Yeah, just like a little. I'm not going to be able to put my arms down. The second I start lifting and all this dormant muscle becomes stiff and bulky, I'm just going to be like this. Dude. Playing drums like this. All in the wrist, baby. All in the wrist. All like in the hips. From, uh, it's all in the hips. Just that metal band where the all the guys got super into lifting. And just got super Any metal buff. band ever. That's true. Yeah, let's say all of them. <laughs> <laughs> Do you, I remember the first time we were, this was like we were, Tara and I were both touring with an indie band and we were playing in oh, Allentown, God. Pennsylvania at Crocodile Rock. We were <laughs> opening for uh, uh, Ryan Cabrera, Ooh. I believe. And there was another band in between us. Or no, the band before us. Um, America's Sweetheart, Ryan Cabrera. They were just like outside, just like lifting weights in the parking lot. <laughs> like shirts off. But they like waited, like, you know, they had all day to do this. They waited until like the line formed up outside the front door. <laughs> of course. And then they're all just out there just like lifting. Is this just while he was dating Ashley Simpson? Oh, this wasn't Ryan. This was another band. Oh, okay. oh no, This was post-Ashley, I believe. Mm. So he was really bummed. He was heartbroken. I don't know. <laughs> v heartbroken. Do we used to so the studio I worked at in New York, like um there was a bar underneath it. Food pie is so good. <laughs> yeah. Go on. I'm starting uh, to sweat a little bit. Yeah. We got like a every, sheen going. Um, like every day we almost like every day we were done working, we'd go to this bar and Ryan Cabrera was always there. And he would always just like leave with a group of women in a limo. And we were just like, I'm pretty sure like he hasn't been big in a while, but like life doesn't look too bad. (laughs) (laughs) Just riding that 15 minutes every second he had. The wind tunnel hair. Oh, yeah. Classic, classic look. Man, the old wind tunnel hair. Nice enough kid. We just, yeah, kind of after, after I moved, never saw him again. He was never to be seen from again. Yeah, I don't know what he's up to. Hey, Ryan, if you're watching this, hope you're doing good, bud. Give us a like and a follow, bud. <laughs> Please subscribe. Smash that subscribe button. <laughs> Holler at us. We'll have you on as a guest. We'll eat a whole pie. I'll uh, be honest. I don't know who that is. I imagine he has, like, maybe, like, the hair's still spiky, but it's pretty, like, maybe he's got 
a Reseda pretty bad, and it's like it's bald in the middle and just spiky on the sides. Well, now he's definitely not going to subscribe. Or he like has him. to come prove it. Come prove it, bro. Let's see that hairline. Just dude. You're about to get that big Ryan Cabrera <laughs> bump, and you just blew it. <laughs> hey, that was going to be how we made it too. Well, new plan. All right, episode five of this podcast is we got to come up with an idea how to make it now that Mike ruined it. <laughs> Bring me that brainstorming session. We can no session. longer ride Ryan Cabrera's coattails. Dang it. Hair tails. Hey, speaking of tails, um, <laughs> nice duck tails. Dude. Ooh. Woo. <laughs> Woo. I like, I'd completely forgotten about it. And one of our friends, it was Mr. Scott Quintana. He posted a video of like, this like little fluffy dog like dancing to the DuckTales theme song. And then we started playing it all the time. Like it became like a sound check song. By the, the way, that song's amazing. Yeah, For is amazing. Really song. Go listen back to it because whoever arranged that crushed it. The, yeah, the horn the, section is like, on point. What's the thing? Dude. Like, you know, show for the, the job you want, not the one you have or whatever. Yeah. And it was like that guy was like ready to throw down. It was his opportunity. Yeah, it's like that, he took that theme it. Song hey, is so above. You get one shot. In the words of Eminem, <laughs> <laughs> you only get one shot. One opportunity. Is that the guy with one spaghetti on his shirt at the Super Bowl? Yeah, it was him. Yeah. Oh gosh. How's yeah. your pie, boys? <laughs> yeah, I'm not gonna lie. It kind of hit me. <laughs> I mean, I'm gonna power yeah. through this. I've. I've yeah, is the expectation for people watching this? Do you expect us to finish? This no, we, the expectation we, that we're holding all of ourselves to is, is the expectation we it. set. Yes, and okay. we are not quitters. I, didn't, I told you this wasn't going to be a fun podcast. Guys, we all some, laughed about it last week. I have something to tell you. I might be a quitter. <laughs> <laughs> That's disappointing. I'm gonna. I look. Like, I got more in me, but look. Don't you? Don't you quit? Yeah, like I already feel sick. I just don't eat this much dessert. Like I would Me much, either. I'm a big guy. I would much rather eat another helping of like dinner. Oh yeah. You know no, I, mean? I could probably eat like five pounds of hamburger. Um, hundred percent. Probably eat an entire rack of ribs. Yeah. I'm yeah, slowing it's down. Just, it's a, I mean, I wasn't kidding when I said this is going to be a game of mental endurance. I'm you're, you're way ahead. Any of us. Mm, I think so. No, maybe not. Maybe not way ahead. It's hard to say. I just one bite at a time. Just I live my life one quarter bite at a time. One quarter, one quarter pie at a time. Dude, <laughs> winning's winning. It's like that whole. Whether like, you win by know. a bite or a mouthful, winning's winning. Hey, come on, preach. Break, like, break us off a little bit. As Bishop Dominic Toretto said, <laughs> <laughs> I knew. Oh, I think this episode's really about family. Always. When is it not about family? Hey, but I, I have the cake sweats. Dude, I've got a little under eye. Sheen going. I, Knocking down the door. <laughs> I just don't think I can do it. Man. I told I you we're only doing this once. I believe in you. This is how we all get diabetes. Diabetes. Listen, if we didn't have it before, we got it now. Yeah. <laughs> Do you remember how fun we thought this would be whenever we came up with the idea? Man, that and then, yeah. Hmm. Hey, man, we don't talk about it. We be about it. Yeah. Do you remember how fun we thought this would be when we weren't thinking about diabetes? <laughs> oh, dude, I was trying to come up with, like, the calorie count and stuff to figure out how I need to, what I need to do to... What's what's the ballpark? We're at, we're at each at least doing 1,500 apiece. Me over here acting <laughs> acting like I can do fifteen hundred dollars worth of pie. Fifteen hundred calories worth of pie. This is an expensive pie. Man, could you imagine if uh the price per calorie was a dollar? Damn, bro. Just gold flaked pie. I'd be eating a lot less dessert. Hey man. Hey, you got a little whipped cream in the oven. Oh, I know, I'm saving it for later. <laughs> oh. You got oh, it, man. Dude, it's gone. Crushed. It's in there. I'm gonna find that later. Hundred percent. How's, how's recording going? It's going really well. You want to talk about how good everything sounds? Let's talk about how good it sounds. Really good, dude. It sounds really good. It sounds really good. I feel like that's 
all I have to say about that. Honestly, know? and not 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 from a braggy standpoint, but we're having so much fun because it's uh, sounding really good. The only bummer here is that the plan was to do this and then get back to recording, and I, I don't know how that's going to go. We're doing it, buddy. No. <laughs> also, I don't quit. You two guys are slacking. I am, I am going to throw up later. <laughs> I looked at I looked at what my workout is today, and I also last night at the gym told my my trainer what I was doing today. He watches the podcast. They were like they were pumped that I I guess last episode I wore our the Willis CrossFit shirt. So hey, shout out fellas! Thanks for keeping me not fat despite everything I'm doing to undo. Despite what you're you've trying done. real hard, but yeah, I'm trying to do everything I can to to screw up all that Get time there, you invested. Dude. Get in there, no nah, man, dude. I don't what? know, man. Yeah, where are you at? I do not feel well. This is going to be my first time trying to do, like, heavy squats after eating a quarter of a Boston cream cake. <laughs> this is going to be one of those don't don't poo in class, guys. Yeah, yeah. next time we should do hot wings or something. Hot so wings would be so much easier. Yeah. I hate hot wings. Hot wings won't be so much easier <laughs> for Mike. <laughs> Listen, I'll do it. I'll, it's team effort. What do, about do we do hot wings? No, when we hired you. Yeah, I'm pretty we sure did. we did. We did the hottest wing, right? at yeah, we Buffalo Wild Wings. Yeah. That was you. Ordered oh, one round. That's trash though. That thing doesn't even. It's it, cool, man. It thanks was for, hot. Thanks for <laughs> stepping know. all over our our it's little. It's hot, but we. That's we not like what I'm saying. Like whenever we like, but it has no flavor. Like, oh it, yeah, it's trash. Oh flavor. yeah, um, but you're not still, you're not there for the flavor, my man. So like, yeah, whatever. That was like whenever we first met with Mike, like our first meeting to like have him come on with us was um, at Chewy's and we did shots of tequila. Mm -hmm. But then like the official like you're you're on the team. Um, we met at a, yeah Buffalo Wild Wings and we ordered three of the hottest wings. I think we asked for no water at the time. Blazing yeah. wings. And so like we just wanted to, you know. It's a we, fear bond. Yeah, we were like, if this will tell us a lot about us as a team, if we can survive eating the hottest wings and then just toughen it out for a couple minutes before we have any kind of like water or anything, we're like, this is going to tell us what it's going to be like to be on the road under pressure situations with this we guy. We sweated <laughs> out for a good few minutes. Yeah, it, it did suck. Yeah, it was not great. Honestly, I think all food challenges suck. I think I just don't really like what we're doing. <laughs> <laughs> Making food a competition? Yeah. Dude, I... I loved House of Pies. I still do. You're in my heart, but it may be a minute. It may be a minute for yeah, me. Yeah, I'm, I'm probably not going to order this for a very long time. <laughs> like, I still love you, but I think we need a break. It's not you. It's your pie. The it's classic decisions teenage, that I have made. The classic teenage line from youth group, I just need to get closer to God. Hey, dude. AKA the new girl in this group. <laughs> House of Pies. I need to create more space in our relationship for Jesus. Dude, at least six inches six away. Six inches. I was like, I, I, I just got abs two weeks ago. Now we're doing this. I got an ab. Dude, out. I can't believe you're almost, you're almost done with this. I've been eating it like a deficit for a year now. I, I, I can I can slam food. Me and Dad went to we went to go see um, Bart Crow at a uh, Dosi Do, and um, I got like you know the, the ginormous chicken fried steak and like extra like green beans or something. And my dad was like, "Oh, like you can just take that home and like have it for lunch tomorrow." And I ate the entire thing ate half of his food and then ordered dessert and the lady sitting next to me was just like Jesus where did you put all that <laughs> where and did my I was still hungry my I could have kept eating I fill, fill my pockets with it I think I came home and had some soup I think I'm a soup. big soup guy right now I yeah. found they have these like a, what are you a, some kind of soup guy I'm some kind of soup guy right now you see this king you see of, this king soup of the soup guy, guy king of the soups guy I found at the Costco um, they have like pout, they're like bags of soup and you just like tear the top throw it in the microwave for a minute you're done it's just it's so convenient I'm waiting on you. you we're gonna finish this together dude oh dang we are so I just, close I keep looking to the left and I'm like I have all kinds of time I got like two bites left you got about two bites left two, yeah, two mouthfuls that's probably gonna be four for me I'm gonna let you catch up okay 
I mean, like I could, We're gonna finish I could just slam it, but no, enjoy it. <laughs> the thing is, you know, now that I'm here, I'm kind of sad. It's almost over. I did. <laughs> Is this, this is what we're doing right now? Dude, get in there, dude. I, you I, falling behind, Grizz. Dude, I can't. I'm sorry. I. You guys might throw up later. You if are I standing have on your principal? Is, You're standing on principal. No, right it's now. not even a principal, dude. I, it's the sweet, the sugar content. Oh, yeah, it's brutal. You have coffee to balance it out? Yeah, but... Oh, oh man. Oh, gee, if you think I feel good right now, you are wrong. Hannah, I'm so sorry. <laughs> I know you're very disappointed in me right now. This is just this is a this is absolutely a mental battle. Just just know that that's this, how you have to approach it. This right now yeah, is like a not Pinocchio. a mental battle that I want to overcome though. Like. I mean neither, but it's it's for the, doing it for the gram, you know. Yeah, I don't do a lot of stuff for the gram. Yeah, this is last time I broke my thumb. This time I'm just gonna throw up. Like Dude. it's not as bad. Oh, Jesus, man. This is like one of those when Pinocchio goes to that little island where you can do whatever you want and they turn all the boys to donkeys. You guys remember that? Yeah. It's that kind of thing. No. What are you talking about? It's a Pinocchio situation. Oh. Man, I'm going to have to change shirts after this. Like, I'm like sweating <laughs> through my clothes right now. Okay. Are you are you your last bite? I'm, no. <laughs> I'm almost there. I know. I'm just I'm getting Can ready. Can I just say I'm impressed? I, you guys, I'm so impressed and proud. Getting ready. Just getting ready. And we'll wait on Taylor, too. He's doing some work. Dude, I'm getting oh, like damn. jittery, man. <laughs> Yo. Take a minute. We got time. Yeah, especially for, like, I, I oh eat God, almost, dude. like, no sugar in my diet at all. Uh, <laughs> I left. Uh-oh. Taylor I think he went had to get a drink. Leave. He went to get some See, water. Now, now I wish we'd put that cap on that case. I said, as long as you don't move your torso, we don't have to worry about it. Taylor's left the building. He gone. He needed. He needed something to cleanse the palate. I really feel like we should have gotten buckets on standby. That dude. I might throw up. I almost got milk, and then we I was like, if we drink milk, milk then we all will. Got a bucket. <laughs> <laughs> no, please. <clears throat> It'll just start off a chain reaction. <laughs> this video is about to get really intense. Dude, catch up with us, man. Come Dude. on. <laughs> it's not Dude. happening. Dude. Come on, everybody on the internet. Grizz. 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 Griff. Glenn. Griff. <laughs> Glenn. Glenn. Griff. Glenn. Griff. Glenn. Griff. 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 <laughs> Love you, Pops. Oh, man. Oh, man. Love that guy. We're but here. also, one thing the internet's about to find out about me is that... I don't give in to peer pressure. So he says. Oh, Remember when you used to wear all white all the time? And then we were like, dude, it'd be a lot cooler if you wore all black. <laughs> now look at you. First day I met this guy, he looked like peer a Backstreet Boy. White shirt, white jeans, white shoes. Sparkly white belt. fedora. He had a white yeah. fedora on. Puffy, like mem- members only. White, also white. White, like Oakley bro glasses. Mm-hmm. I said, dude, come to the dark side. This is what my mom was concerned about. She used when to warn joined, me. <laughs> when you wanted to go into music. <laughs> you know like, what they're going to do? Gonna start. They're going to be doing all kinds of debauchery, like eating whole pot, whole cakes together. <laughs> they're going to they're yeah. gonna start podcasts, and they're going to talk about eating pie. <laughs> and, and peer pressure. You want things that lead to another. things you don't want to do. Eating a whole pie. All right, hey, man. <laughs> dude, I, still, I still need a second. A trio, ride or die. <sighs> right. well, we, we can edit that word out, right? By our powers combined, we are the. Look, it's, it makes out. sense. It's the it's the band, the players. There you go. Oh my god! I don't know how y'all did that. Thanks for tuning in. This was Bye, a guys. horrible idea. Bye. We're going to call an ambulance now.